Kelvin Fletcher's wife Liz Marsland, has opened up on how she wasn't totally on board with uprooting their life to move to a farm in the Peak District ahead of their new BBC show. Liz Marsland and her husband Kelvin Fletcher, have begun their new life as farmers, after they and their two children uprooted their urban life to move to the Peak District. But the Cold Feet actress admitted at first, it all came as a bit of a shock. Ahead of their new show Kelvin's Big Farming Adventure that's set to begin on BBC One later this month, Liz admitted she was initially taken aback when he showed her photos of an 18th century cottage. I thought it was just one of his madder moments. She giggled in a new joint interview. But while their new lives as farmers is well underway, they soon came to realize that they were naive about the challenges ahead. He's pretty squeamish, Liz admitted to Radio Times. But I think that's where the teamwork comes in. I'll do what Kelvin can't face. Their move was partly prompted by the numerous COVID lockdowns, where Kelvin explained he had a lot of time to be present and reflect. I think both of us were ready for a change. To embrace something new, he smiled. However, he admitted he has been warned by their new neighbors it might be harder than he thinks. Farmers around here keep telling me I won't make any money from farming, Kelvin shrugged. I still can't understand that concept because I'm absolutely convinced I will. Either way, they both insist that they are in it for the long haul and plan to give their all to rural life. Sometimes I do wonder whether we've taken on too much, he admitted. But I can't imagine us not doing this now. It's ignited something inside me, and I love it. But Kelvin, who triumphed on Strictly with professional dance partner Autie Mabuse in 2019, remains stunned about how much the outdoorsy life has changed him. If you'd have told me the night I lifted that glitter ball that 18 months later I'd happily be shoveling pig poo, I would have struggled to believe you, he chuckled. I used to listen to a little quirky jazz or hip-hop in my downtime, now I've got a podcast on how to rear cattle. And the funny thing is that I absolutely love it and can't wait for a long drive so I can indulge. Their farming adventure begins on BBC One Monday 17th January.